Hey, what's going on everybody? DJ, how about on vapor? Okay, I just want to show you why you do not want to use convenience store, Walmart, dollar store juices, okay? Just because they're very dangerous for your batteries. A lot of people don't realize this. I'm going to show you why. Okay, so like say you're using good premium juices, all right? So when you put it in your tank, your tank goes on top of your battery here, okay? Like so. All right, so eventually, that's why I recommend every other day or so, take your tank off and go ahead and get a Q-tip and wipe it out real good because there will be a little drop of juice that will sit right there. And then you just wipe that out because you really don't want nothing in between your connection, okay? But now, I'm going to show you why watered down juices is not a good idea and very dangerous. All right, so if we look at this battery, I'm going to kind of make you... Uh, understand how this works okay so when we hit our button right we're sending power to the tip here so our tank where you screw it in your tank goes right over this piece right here all right so this is actually a piece of paper this is actually your threads 510 thread and your 510 thread tank screws right onto here okay so around your tank here this side piece that screws onto your battery, that's actually negative. That's your negative. Your center, the very tip of your coil, that's your positive, okay? So your coil is screwed in around the negative part, and then the very center of your coil is how, when you hit your battery, you're getting power to it because there's your positive and negative. I really should have got a coil to take it apart to show you that, but that's okay. We're mainly going to talk about the battery here, okay? So... Remember, our juice sets there, you wipe it out. Now, I don't know if you could see it, but I'm going to kind of try to show you there's a little rubber piece. The very center piece right here is your positive post, okay? Inside of here, there's a wire that's soldered to your positive post and another wire that's soldered to your negative right here, okay? So I don't know if you could see it right there. There's a little rubber piece, and the little rubber piece not only keeps your positive from hitting your negative, but it also don't allow your juice to go into your battery, which eventually could rust your battery, lithium-ion batteries, bam, you could have a problem. So a lot of people don't realize this. So they're using cheap juices, they're vaping along, next thing you know, it's on the news. Batteries killing people. <laughs> it's blowing up in their face. Oh, da, 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 da. You don't realize your consequences could not happen right now, but it could happen down the road, okay? So what I'm going to actually do is take this battery apart to show you more of what I'm saying. All right, so as we put it apart, you see there's two wires inside of here, okay? Usually, if you spin your tank too hard or whatever, one of your wires might pop off. See, we got our positive and our negative. If you look in here, your positive is actually soldered right onto your positive post that I told you about, right down here. Your negative wire is on your negative. So when you hit your battery, it's sending both currents up there, but one's actually going to your positive, one's going to your negative. The only way for it to make effect is when your coil was in there, it makes a connection to both of them, so your wire gets hot, and that's how you get your vapor. All right? So sometimes people put their tank on too high, hard, they spin around, next thing you know, one of the batteries come off of your negative or something like that. Bam! And they're like, my battery don't work, but they don't realize if you open it up, where they spun it around, that solder might have came loose. So usually it's a real easy fix. You could just solder your positive, your negative post right back on your positive post. But we're going to take this off. Positive. All right, so we're taking this off now. What I'm actually going to show you is what I'm talking about, that little rubber piece. Maybe you could see a little bit better there. It's right around your positive post, okay? So we're actually going to take this apart. We're just going to push this positive post right through just with a little screwdriver. Just going to take this battery off to show you what's going on inside of it. Okay, so we got it out. All right. So inside of our battery here, our positive post. Right here. All right, so this is our positive post right here. And the only thing that's keeping this positive post from hitting our negative around here is this little rubber piece right here. This little rubber piece actually goes right onto your positive post. Let me kind of try to show you. So this little rubber piece goes right around your positive post like so. And that's what's keeping this positive post from hitting 
your negative post. And that little rubber piece is the only thing that's protecting you. So what you want to do is not use watered down juices because this is just a little rubber seal. Your juices, watered down juices, will actually go around this little rubber seal. It'll actually go around it into your battery, right through your top piece, right into your battery. And what's inside of our battery? Oh, all them little electronics. Yeah, and not only that, our lithium ion battery is set in there as well. So if you look right here, using good premium juices, you're fine because what you're going to do is just wipe it out with a Q-tip. But with watered down juices, you're pretty much vaping like that. Or you just could go right into your battery. You're using watered down juices, just to give an example. You might as well just do this, pour juice inside of your battery. Eventually it's going to rust, your battery will. And of course, lithium ion battery is made with pressure. So if that starts to rust or whatever, what's holding your battery besides everything around it? If it starts to rust, it gives away. So don't use watered down juices. Use good premium organic juices. That way, your thinned out juice won't go through this little rubber seal and get into your battery. That's just the tip, pretty much. Don't use cheap juices. Come by and see us. Hi, we're now Vapor. Hope this uh, kind of helped you out a little bit to kind of understand what's going on. So vape safe, not scared. DJ, hi, we're now Vapor. Peace. Where's my face?